to start off, this is our truss bridge. It is made out of layers and layers of fettuccine, an average of 4 layers to be exact. After researching various types of truss design, we finally found a suitable truss design for our bridge, which is the subdivided Warren truss. The span of the bridge is 90 cm long and it comprises of two variation height levels, which are 5 and 10 cm tall. As you can see, the diagonal bracing helps to transfer the load to the deck beams while the columns exist to separate the upper and lower cord of the bridge. There are a few types of basic joints used in construction. We went with one of the strongest, which is the lap joint, and a couple of unavoidable end joints. To strengthen our design, we realized that it needed internal support as well. So this is what we came up with. Each single bracing is placed accordingly to form this optical illusions of axis. And it is laid out as planned to ensure that load is transferred to the stronger parts of the bridge. So this is how we did it. 1. Separating the good and bad fettuccine. 2. Organizing it neatly. 3. Creating the longest and thickest span. 4. Creating the components of the bridge, which includes the beams, the tall columns, the tall bracings, the short columns, the short bracings. And number 5, laying it out and attaching the components together with super glue. Finally, the bridge is completed. After a more thorough observation, we realized that the load is not transferred evenly due to the variation of heights, thus it could be improved.